there is a very important skill that allows you to go from a worded problem to algebra. And with sequences and series, there is no difference. And what we're going to look at here are four statements and how we can convert this into an algebraic equation. And what I need to point out at the start is that all of these are arithmetic, OK? So um, in each of these cases, we'll be using these formulas that we have worked with before. So first of all, the third term is 5. What does that mean? Well, in shorthand, you can say the third term, u3, is equal to 5. That is what it is saying. So if u3 is 5, then u3, using this, is a plus n minus 1, so 3 minus 1 d. And because I know that u3 is equal to 5, this must be equal to 5. So if I get rid of that, this has converted this information into an equation. OK, so I can write this as a plus 2d is equal to 5. So that is the type of step that we're looking for here. Going from a sentence to an algebraic equation. So if the eighth term is 120, that means u8 is 120. So u8 is equal to a plus n minus 1 d. And this, we know, u8 is equal to 120. So I can simplify this equation to say a plus 7d is 120. Now, if this was um, a, an exam question, and I've been told the third term is 5 and the eighth term is 120, and I got down to these two equations, I could then put this as 1, and that is number 2, and then use simultaneous equations to work out the value of a and d. Okay, So that is the process that we're really practicing here. If I'm told that the sum of the first eight terms is 50, then I'm told that the sum of the first eight terms is 50. S8 is 50. Now, for these, I would avoid using that formula. OK? Try and keep to using this one here with A and D. So if S8 is equal to 50, S8, I know using that formula, is 1 half times 8 times 2a plus 8 minus 1 times d. And I know that that must be equal to 50. So if I get rid of that bit, this now gives me an equation. Half of 8 is 4. 4 lots of 2a is 8a. So I have 8a plus... I've got 7d there, so 4 times 7d is 28d is equal to 50. And then I could simplify that down because I can divide everything um, by 2. And I'm going to get 4a plus 14d is equal to 25. So I've gone from this sentence to that equation. This last one is really an extension to show kind of how you could extend this to further problems. If I'm told that the sum of the fifth to the fifteenth terms inclusive, so that's number 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, um, 11, 12, 13 and 14, okay, all those terms add up to 6, then what I could say is that the sum of the first 15 terms, but that's too many because that includes 1 to 4 as well. If I take away the first four terms, so S4, then this is the sum that I want, and I know that that's equal to 6. 
So the sum of the first 15 terms using this formula is 1 half times 15 times 2a plus n minus 1, so 15 minus 1, so 14d. Take away s4, so using that formula again, 1 half times n times 2a plus n minus 1, so 3d, and that's all going to be equal to 6. Okay? So you would then need to simplify this out, multiply it out, and uh, collect like terms. So what do we have? Um, I'll cheat using the calculator. So we've got uh, 1 half times 15 times 2. Um, then take away a half times 4 um, times 2. So we've got 11a. So you should be able to get this to 11a. And then uh, half times 15 times 14. Uh, take away a half times 4 times 3. So that's 99. So a, 11a plus 99d must be equal to 6. Okay, And that is the equation that we get down to. So you can see that in each of these cases, we are simplifying the problem down to some number of a plus some number of d is equal to some number. And that will then allow me, if I'm given two equations, two sentences, two bits of information, I can get it down to two equations from which I can then use simultaneous equations. So we're then going to go into an example of this in the next video.